Hello, I want to try and read a poem that I quite like called Poetics. It's by Luis Garcia Montero from Spain. Okay, Poetics. There are also moments when we leave behind words of love and silences to talk about poetry. You rest your voice in the past and recall the title of a book, the story behind some verses, Adolescent Nights of the Singer Songwriters. The importance that poets and protesters held in your life. I speak to you of commas and case, of images that exceed or that lack, of the need to find the rhythm that will support the story. Just as hands support the dampness and walls of a sandcastle, I also recall some verses in the nights where commas and case, metaphors and rhyme warmed my home, kept me company, knew how to convince me with your same power of seduction. I know that other poets disguise themselves as poets. They go off to their offices of silence. They manage with their banks of brilliance. They calculate with essence the balance of their internal assets. They are the torchbearers of the kings and gods, or they are the tongue of hell. Do they have souls? I am content to have you and to have a conscience. Well, I really like that poem. I particularly like the sandcastle bit. I think it's absolutely great. The, the thought of the hands needed to to press the sand into the shapes. I think that's absolutely lovely. And of course, that's what we do with our imaginations when we start mucking about poetry and trying to make something that wasn't there before. Um, I just want to say as well that I've decided to try and butt out of any kind of global issues or, you know, trying to influence things in that direction and to devote myself to trying to create some stuff just poetry and um, novel and so on. And that's what I've decided. I've decided a bit better off trying to do that, concentrating on that and trying to make a good job of it. So wish me luck and watch this space. Okay, but that is a beautiful poem from this Spanish um, poet. I, I think, you know, that coziness of being embroiled in words I do find it consolatory. I do. So hope you do too. Bye bye for now.